I'm interested in contemporary political ideology and particularly neoconservatism, which has become dominant in many ways in the United States uh, since the 1980s. And I'm interested in applying uh, a study of that ideology to questions like uh, what, it, what are the implications of neoconservatism on social policy toward the poor? How do we explain, for example, that the United States uh, provides so many fewer benefits than do European countries to poor people? And uh, what part does political communication and the uh, use of political ideology as political communication, what part does that play? in answering that question. Well, I've been uh, looking most recently at the way in which religions play a part in political ideology. I have, in my personal life, a Mormon background, and I'm particularly interested in Mormonism, both as a religion and as a way of looking at politics. And so, most recently, I've looked into the way Mormonism has dealt with a number of political issues. For one, their opposition to the stationing of a, a major uh, ballistic missile system in the early 80s, but more recently their opposition to gay marriage. And I'm interested, in other words, how religion intersects with politics in that way. I would like to think that my findings point the way toward persuasive strategies that various politicians and various opinion leaders might use to shift uh, American public opinion more in the direction of a, a more liberal and more uh, inclusive social policy safety net. For instance, uh, daycare provision. Uh, a number of countries in Europe provide substantial subsidies uh, for, for daycare fees for women so that they can afford to work outside the home. In the United States, those are extremely uh, limited. The question is how to convince people that those are good investments, how to convince the average taxpayer that part of their taxes ought to go to that kind of thing, and what kind of arguments can be used to shift their points of view in that direction. I teach a course, a basic course, in argumentation and debate I have a background in intercollegiate debate coaching. I'm no longer active in coaching debate intercollegiate competitive teams, but I love the coaching part. And so I teach courses in debate. One of the things we've done over the last few years is become increasingly involved with high school students in the Boston area, where my students, after learning how to debate in my classes, go into high schools, junior highs, or in some cases even elementary schools, and prepare students to debate on topics of concern to them. I teach uh, a course in U.S. public discourse which addresses various controversial issues in three areas, race, class, and religion. And so as you can see, that intersects with a number of my uh, research concerns. I also teach a course in social movements, and I'm interested in examining with my students how uh, people involved in social movements have succeeded over time in, in successfully putting forward either uh, reform measures that they were interested in or, in a more extreme case, succeeded in uh, revolutionary changes in governments.